assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will discuss about solidworks design library and i will show you how we can use design library and uh, make our 3d modeling faster easier and accurate for this first of all we will go to file view and uh, assembly okay and uh, after coming in assembly section i will click on design library which is present on the right side of solidworks and then from design library i will click on toolbox and from toolbox we can see all the units such as ansi inch and uh, ansi metric similarly british standards canadian standards and uh, indian standards iso so we will use american national standard metric now i will click on this and uh, here we have bearings bolts and screws nuts o rings power transmissions such as gears and pulleys and washers bearing retaining rings so i will first open the bearing section and in bearing we have ball bearing and roller bearing so we will simply drag double click we will double click on the ball bearing and we will drag any of this bearing on our interface for example i am dragging this bearing and uh, it, it is a instrument instrument ball bearing and uh, we can customize its size according to our requirement for example we can change number of balls and uh, bore outer diameter thickness and number of balls so the next is radial ball bearing and similarly we can customize all of its properties and use the next is roller bearing in roller bearing we have all types of roller bearings such as taper roller and needle roller etc next we have nuts bolts and screws so i will expand the bolt and screw section now we have hex head bolts for example i am going to drag this hex head bolt this is the hex head bolt of diameter 5 mm and uh, we have all of its specifications on the right uh, left side of solidworks interface and uh, we can customize this bolt according to our use now i am going to add power transmission and uh, in power transmission we have gears and uh, here we have many types of gear such as helical gear internal spur gear rack spur rectangular spur gear straight bevel and straight meter gear so i am going to drag spur gear here we have a spur gear and uh, we have 
all of its customizable properties on the left side of SOLIDWORKS interface. For example, I am going to change its module to 20 millimeter as uh, I need a 20 millimeter and I will change its teeth to 20. We can see that now its teeth are 20. The next is pressure angle and we can customize it and uh, the face width is 100 millimeter. I can decrease or increase it and I am going to increase it up to 200 mm. The next is nominal shaft diameter and uh, I will increase it up to 80 millimeter. So this was our gear section. You can customize any of gear. And the next is retaining rings. Here we have rings such as this ring and uh, similarly we can customize it according to our use and we have washers for example lane washers we can change its thickness and diameter if you are uh, unable to find solidworks design library then don't worry i will show you method to add solidworks design library in your solidworks so you need to click on setting and then adds in and uh, here you will find the option of solidworks toolbox library and uh, you will click on this option and uh, check both of these blocks and design library will be added to your SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching. If you are new on our channel, then please subscribe our channel so that you can get notifications of our incoming tutorials.